ride so alam ko na kung bakit kaya nandito kagaya ko eh nahihirapan din kayong magparami ng views sa mga videos nyo right well uh, look no further I'm gonna share you tips that I personally use and matagal ko na actually itong ginang ginagawa however hindi ko sinare kasi hindi ko pa naman ano eh hindi ko pa naman na proof na gumagana talaga eh so now since medyo dumami na yung mga views ng mga videos ko well I think although hindi pa naman ganun karami but every day nagkakaroon na talaga siya ng views watch the full video para malaman nyo kung paano ng mga technique however syempre hindi ko naman isi-share kung hindi nag-work so tinatry ko muna alright It's always good to start the week with the ride. And this is your guy Ralph from Revit Ralph. And you will be watching another vlog. Alright! This artery is so easy to break. Oh my gosh. Ride lang tayo. <laughs> Ay, hindi pala chill to. Atensya na guys. Ay, pandemic. Ito yung nagagawa ng pandemic sa atin eh. Dahil we're so deprived to ride a motorcycle. Paglabas ko, nagiging kamote ako. Pasensya na guys. Hindi ko sinasadya. Yung kamay ko may sariling pag-iisip. Siya nga pala guys. May bago akong tip sa inyo. Ngayon ko lang din na ano, na prove. Kung gusto nyo nang magkaroon ng mas maraming views yung videos nyo sa YouTube, maliban sa i-share nyo ng i-share, ng <laughs> walang sawang pag-share sa timeline nyo, sa mga group pages, meron akong trinay eh. Experiment lang siya. Pero somewhat parang nag-work. Yung ibang videos, it, it did not work to all the videos Pero to some videos na really matters, like mga reviews Yung mga reviews ko na video, nagkaroon siya ng ano, nang nag, nag bump up yung mga views nila And it's getting, ano eh, it's getting more views than the usual Kasi kadalasan yung mga videos ko nasa ano lang naman eh 200, 300 views ganun ganun lang naman yung lagi so tinay try ko yun madami ko rin ginawang mga experiment experiment eh paano mas mapapalawak yung ano yung reach ng videos na mas makita ng mga maraming subscribers or I mean mas maraming youtube viewers madami ko rin trinay Pero this one, parang parang it work. When, well, yung common kasi is of course dapat mag-isip ka ng magandang title, catchy na title and then yung, ano, tawag dito yung thumbnail yung thumbnails, di ba? Kailangan, kailangan talaga yun dapat catchy, eh. dapat mapapapindot yung ano eh yung viewers eh. Pero hindi naman yung ano, yung clickbait. Pangit yun huwag tayo mag-clickbait lalagay natin kunyari may ano dun may aksidente tapos sa video wala naman palang aksidente mga ganun don't do that so going back dun sa sinasabi ko um, yung regarding trick baits don't do that kasi wala din namang mangyayari um, yung pinaka first yun is dadami yung views mo 
dahil nga nabait mo sila to click and then later on they found out that it was clickbait so mamamark na din yung ano mo mamamark na din yung channel mo ah clickbaiter yan so yung mga susunod mo yung videos niya upload kahit na tama na yung thumbnail yung thumbnail mo eh magdududaan pa rin nila and most likely no, they will no longer click yung clickbait na yan usually nagwe-work yan sa mga channels sa marami ng subscribers let's say meron kang 100,000, 200,000 subscribers the moment you upload kasi the video hindi naman lahat ng subscriber mo kiklik yun di ba? so hindi yan, hindi yan lahat um, kiklik so yung iba binibait nila to click kasi syempre subscribers na rin naman sila and most likely kila, parang may connection na sila dun sa sa creator or yung nag upload mismo diba so they maybe yung or watch the videos in his channel countless of times kaya parang okay lang din i-date sila kasi they do no longer feel na parang ah they've been tricked whereas kung bagong channel ka they really don't know about you and then suddenly they came across your video and then yun nga na clickbait sila most likely they'll no longer come back so don't do that we'll only do bad than good and also this tip that I'll be giving you will only work so after after now you've shared your videos like sa kahit sa ang groups man whatever groups you're in share mo doon yun ng videos mo um, just to get an initial view diba? kasi how I see I mean this is just an observation kung paano isa suggest ni YouTube yung videos mo is first your video whatever you uploaded should have views and normally the moment you post a video nagkakaroon din ng, ng, ng views pero konting konti pa for example if if you're less than 1,000 subscribers the moment you upload the video parang hindi pa nga abot ng 100 yan eh, kadalasan eh diba so you have to make sure you invite traffic to that video and how to do that well, you share your videos, share it to your timeline, share it to your page if you have a page, share it to a group if you have a group, and to kahit anong group na meron ka, share mo na. Who knows? Mer mer meron talagang magkaka-interest doon at magkiklik. Just to make sure you ramp up the views first, the initial process. Kasi, only then YouTube will recognize, oh, your videos are gaining views. Maybe it's worth suggesting. It starts from there. Diba? And, and this tip will only work if your video is relevant enough. So, this will not work sa mga video na, alam mo yung, wala naman talagang sense yung, ano, yung content. Basta in-upload mo lang kasi gusto mo lang may ma-upload. It's not gonna work on that. It will only work on videos na, ay, yung, yung pinaghirapan mo and may magandang content talaga. Kasi, let's take it this way. You uploaded the content and you know ang ganda nito. Ang, talagang, talagang maraming mag-views nito kasi ang ganda ng pagka-edit mo, ang ganda ng, ng content mo, ang ganda ng pagka-explain mo. If it's a review, then ang ganda ng pagka-review mo. However, pag-post mo, <laughs> ilang weeks na parang 500 pa lang yung views. Di ba yung, yung mga ganun? So parang yung ikaw, Ang ganda naman yung video ko, ang ganda naman yung content, ganda naman yung tab mo, ganda, ganda naman yung pagka-edit ko, ba't ganun? Dapat, dapat at least may 1,000 plus na to, yung mga tipong ganun. May mga ganun tayong video na we bank on, na alam natin na if only it will reach more people, it will really have views. Yun yung mga videos na kailangan mo i-market talaga. And you have to do all the tricks na kung ano man yung ma-encounter ng tricks just to make sure it will have a wider reach e sa itong tip na to to get you there so it may take a while sometimes kung nakita mo yung mga videos ako dyan na um, uh, 3,000 4,000 may mga 1,000 alam mo yung lately lang yan dumami at first, talagang sobrang konti ng views niyan. Around 300, 400, 4 days na. 
Parang kasi Kata ta akala ko yung ganitong content Magkakaroon ng, ng thousands na views Pero parang it's not working So doon mo ipapasok ito And that tip is none other than It's very simple All you need to do Is change your titles Change your titles Change your tags So let's say One week na yung video mo Alam mo yung video na to maganda And magkakaroon talaga ng views Pero parang hindi pa rin nagkakaroon ng views And when you look at your analytics Nakita mo yung curve Nagpa-flatten na What I mean is nagpa-flatten na yung curve eh, Hindi na siya masyadong maakyat Gan Pag ganito na yung, ano, pag ganito na yung curve niya So hindi na pa ganun Ibig sabihin, bihirang-bihira na nagkakaroon ng views Maybe in a day of two, five, mga ganun na lang yung views niya So, that's a, no, that's a, that's a bad sign And uh, what you need to do is change your title diba? Maybe your title is not catchy enough Let's put it that way What you can do is, let's say review yung video mo no? uh, Like, uh, I'm gonna give you an example uh, One of my video, na review ko yung Honda Supra GTR 150 So, one week na siya, mga sobrang, sobrang konti ng views, 400 yata. So, what I did after that, uh, I went in incognito, nag-incognito po ako sa browser, and then nag-search ako ng Honda Supra GTR 150 review. And then, chinek ko lahat na nag-pop up. Tinignan ko yung mga titles nila, and then, gano karami yung mga views nila. And from there, I tried to pattern my title sa pinaka may maraming views alright and also don't forget to edit your description lagyan mo rin ng maraming description basahin mo rin yung ibang description sa, ng mga video na, na ganun din yung reviews na maraming views try mo basahin yung description ano bang description na nilagay nila and whatever your title is na pinalit dapat try to repeat that As, as often as you can sa description mo pero wag yung ano ah kunyari GTR Supra 150 review GTR Supra 150 ganun lang ang dami wag ganun dapat ilalagay mo sa sentence na I review this GTR Supra 150 and this um, this motorcycle is really good and I recommend this GTR Supra 150 yung tipo ganun mga mga ano mga style ng description try to Repeat it as often as you can in a sentence describing your video. Okay? In that way, it will be easier for you to, to categorize your video. Diba? And then, change your tag. Lahat ng pwede mo maisip na tags, kahit balibalik ta rin naman yun, change it. Pattern mo sa, kunyari, yung title na nakita mo. Um, the best underbones. GTR Supra 150, ganun yung pinakamarami, di ba? E di, somewhat, hindi, hindi mo naman gagayahin na verbatim, but you have to rephrase it. Like, first impression of the best underbone, Honda Supra, GTR 150, or review of the best underbone, yung ganun-ganun. Just so, kasi yung, yung aim mo dyan, is para, lumabas yung video mo, sa suggested ng video na yan. So, if ever, kunyari, nag-unload ka ng video, di ba? If you're using a cell phone sa panunod ng video, pag nag-scroll down ka, may makikita ka mga videos dyan sa baba, di ba? Or kung nanunood ka using uh, computer, pag, nag, pag nakikita mo sa gilid, pag nanunood ka, yan, nanunood ka ng video ni Motodek, di ba sa gilid may mga videos na yung iba, naka-autoplay na pag natapos yung video, magpa-play yung diretsyo o may mga option ka dun sa gilid na halos same or sinasuggest sa'yo ni YouTube yun yung, da yun yung aim mo dapat yun yung kasi, kailan ka ba nagsisearch sa YouTube? di ba usually, at, at first open lang naman magsisearch ka and then later on Kung ano yung pananood mo, usually makiklik-klik ka na lang sa gilid or magsascroll down ka na lang to check ano pa ba yung sinasuggest ni YouTube eh, di ba? Doon yung pinakamaraming views sa suggested, not sa search. So, yun yung dapat yung aim mo. 
So make sure you try to pattern your title. Let me just open the visor. Uh, oh, pattern your title sa mga videos na may matas na views which is relevant to your videos. So hindi ito mag-work sa mga videos na hindi naman siya relevant tapos nilagyan mo ng video mo na kapareho doon tapos hindi naman sila kapareho. So it's not gonna work. And also, your thumbnail. Check their thumbnail. Tingnan mo yung mga thumbnail sa pag nag-search ka ng ano, pag nag-search ka ng GTR Supra 150 review. Tingnan mo yung mga thumbnails nila. Ano yung kulay, paano nila inarrange, paano yung fonts. And then try to do a better thumbnail on them. And it's going to be hard, but sometimes just the color itself will stand out. Like for example, ang nakita mo lahat ng videos parang may parang may theme ng white. 'Di ba? Parang may mga white sa background. Then try to overpower the white background. Maybe you can use something that's bright and catchy na magsa-stand out siya pag pag nag-search sila. 'Di ba? Like maybe yellow, blue, and then para pag pag nag-search sila, yeah, GTR Supra 150 review. Magi magsa-magsa stand out talaga yung videos mo doon kasi iba yung kulay. Eh. Or dito sa gilid, pag nakita nila, nanonood pala sila ng video, nakikita nila sa gilid, ay, parang, parang iba din yung kulay. So, they are more inclined to click it. Yun yung mga ginagawa ko. And now I'm sharing this because finally, those videos na I think is relevant enough is gaining views. My, my GTR Super 150 review is gaining views. My um, SkyDrive review is gaining views. My uh, HJC CS15 is also gaining views, and the versus video that I did with the Ninja 400 is gaining enough views as well. So it's working. So that's why I'm telling you this. This is to um, you know help all fellow moto vloggers, aspiring moto vloggers, how to how to be successful in what we're doing. Some, you might have gotten it from other YouTubers. You might have um, observed it sa iba. Diba? I mean, did it cost you anything? Maybe your time. So, that's why I encourage you to try it. Experiment on that. What else you think na you promote ng videos mo? Don't just wait there na edit, upload, and then wait for the videos to gain views. I mean, it might work with some. But, parang maghihintay ka na lang na ano eh. It's like, manakita ka ng bayabas. Hinug na. Uupo ko lang ba sa baba at hihintayin na mahulog yan? Siyempre, itatry mong hampasin yan, itatry mong sungkitin, itatry mong Um, akyatin, di ba? So, gagawin mo yung paraan kung gusto mo makuha yan. Ganun yung dapat. In, in anything and everything that we do, if you want something, then do everything. It doesn't matter how stupid it is. You'll find out sooner na, ah, that, that thing that I did was really stupid. But you'll never know if hindi mo ginawa. So, I encourage all the aspiring moto vloggers na try and explore and check that out and let me know what you think about it. So there you go guys. I hope I'm making sense and sana makatulong din ng tip na to sa inyo. And I still have more na tinatry and in observe and if, it's, and if it will work. If it does, then you know where to look for. Alright, so I would appreciate if you like the video and then subscribe to my channel. That way, you know, um, you get updated sa mga next na tips natin. And that will encourage me as well to do more and upload more and also search for more tips. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So, this is Revit Ralph and thank you for watching.